So today I wanted to bring you a Valentine's Day gift guide and I am so super excited about this because not only is it a gift guide but this is for everyone and it's inexpensive and it's personal. Um, I went into the, the store to look for Valentine's ideas and literally everything was so commercialized. It was like a little heart box filled with chocolates or a little teddy bear and a little balloon. And it's like, where did the creativity go and all that kind of stuff? So I was actually going to do a tutorial on do-it-yourself Valentine's Day cards that have candy and glitter and poems, but I didn't have time. But I thought, you know what? Let's put together some Valentine's Day packages that are inexpensive and from the heart for everyone in your life. So these are for girls. These are for guys. These are for moms. These are for coworkers. These are for that special someone. Um, or these are just for people who are friends. Because sometimes, especially for me, it's hard for me to give things to guy friends because it's like, especially for Valentine's Day because I don't want to look romantic unless it's my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, and what's great is that you can really tailor this to the person. Um, so whatever they like, you can put in there. Um, some of the little packages that I put together are literally under $5, and some of the other ones you could spend as much as $100 to $200, depending on what your budget is. Um, but we will get started. The first one that I wanted to show is one of the least expensive ones for a girl who loves to pamper herself. Um, this is perfect for a friend, for a coworker, for anyone, but it's a little put-together thing of nail polishes and kind of pedicure goodies. Um, so I got these from CVS. They were, it says $4.99, but they were really less. Um, these are those little socks that you put your feet in and they kind of strap you in and they have the little beads on the bottom of them to make it great so you don't slip around. This was $1 and this is the Cupcakes Manicure Set from Sweet Treats. And all this is is a little cupcake guy. It's got all these manicure goodies inside. So you have your clippers, your scissors, your file, your file, your cuticle pusher, all that kind of stuff. And then last but not least, I just picked out three nail polishes. Um, I did go for kind of a purplish, kind of a semi-purple pink and a red, but you guys can use whatever you think that your friends will enjoy. These are the ones from OPI by Sephora, but you could also get Essie, you could get CoverGirl if you really don't want to spend a bunch of money. Um, and you just put these together in a little set, maybe wrap it up with some Valentine's Day paper um, and put some little sprinkly hearts in there and wrap a bow around it and say to whoever from me. Um, it's the perfect little gift that's from the heart if they love to paint their nails or do their toes. Um, and it could even include like a gift certificate for a, a pedicure sleepover or something like that. Next could be for a girl or for a guy, for a teenager or for an adult. And this is what I call the breakfast set. Now, this is just a cup that I found at the um, CVS again. I think it was only like $2. It's dishwasher safe. And as you guys can see, it's just this big old coffee mug that has these little hearts on it. And it's so cute. I also included some tea. Now, this is Tivana tea. This could be a little bit more personal. Tivana tea is also a little bit more expensive. You could definitely just get the tea from the store that comes in the boxes pick out um, a fruit tea or a chamomile tea or something like that that you know they like to drink. This is just one that I had that I really love. This is strawberries and champagne from Tivana. Um, and what's nice is that it actually has pieces of strawberries in the tea. Um, I'll pour a little out for you guys. As you guys can see, this tea is a loose leaf tea and it actually has little roses and little strawberries inside of the tea. So you could give them a big pack like this or you could put some inside of like a little heart shaped bag you know, or like a little plastic bag that has hearts on it and wrap it all up. And you just put it inside of this little tea mug. Or if they don't like tea, give them some sort of like raspberry chocolate coffee or something like that. Um, this is something else that I found. This is called um, pancake mix. Pink pancakes with semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now, I'm sure this is not very healthy for you, but it's Valentine's Day. Um, so this is just one of real, this is just a really cute gift. Um, it's a great breakfast idea for somebody. It makes things easy and it shows that you were thinking about them. Um, you could definitely include a different kind of baking mix, depending on they like and depending on what you want. Um, but this is really good for anyone who likes to drink tea or coffee or eat breakfast in the morning. Also, it's not awkward if you give this to a guy who's just a good friend. This next one is for the crazy cat lady or the crazy dog lady or the crazy cat man or the crazy dog man or the bird man. Anyone who loves their pets. And the reason why is because this is actually a little gift set for them. If you don't know what to get someone, but you know that they adore their furry little creatures, um, you can get something for their furry little creatures and give it to them. And what I got, this is actually just one of those cheesy little teddy bears that they sell, you know, 
people probably aren't going to put this on the, their bed, um, but I know that my cat and many other cats like to chew and play with little toys like this. Um, same with dogs. They love to go after like the little squeaky toys. Now this one doesn't exactly squeak, but it says hug me. It's like a little Valentine's Day buddy. So I know that when I give this to my cat, my cat will probably chew a hole in his back and maybe rip an arm off. Um, but this is just a really cute little idea, and I also got, this one is obviously for cats, but you can switch it out for dogs. Um, I got this. It's just kind of like a, a ladybug looking frilly guy um, that kind of wobbles around on the floor that the cat can chase. And last but not least, these are Pounce Tuna Flavor, Clen tuna flavor Crunchies. And look, they're in the shapes of little Valentine's Day hearts. Um, so if you don't know what to get for someone, but you know that they love pets, this is perfect for a guy, for a girl, for a coworker, for a teacher, um, anyone in your life who just adores their pets. Now this next set is a bit more romantic, and I would kind of say it's a little bit more for a woman or a girl than a guy. Um, but if you're a wife looking to get something for her husband, or if you're in a really serious relationship and you want to get something that is a little bit more romantic, you can definitely tailor this to a man. Um, and this is kind of like more of a romance pampering set. What this is, is a perfume, a candle, and a little bath bomb from Lush. Um, and what's great about this is that, again, that you can switch it out for guys or for girls, um, depending on what they like. So the first thing is a little candle. This happens to be a wood wick candle, which means the wick is actually wood. And this smells like heaven. I believe this is orchid. I don't know what this is, and I don't know how to find it. I believe, but it smells just like an orchid. And this is the perfect candle for them to light while they're taking their bath. Um, you guys know that I love Lush. And even if it's not Lush, you know, another bath or body um, kind of bath bomb product that sells really luxurious stuff. This is one that literally has a rose in it. But this one kind of goes in your bath and it fizzles up and it it's like a bomb and it fizzles and it makes the water all bubbly and shimmery. Um, they have other ones that just make it shimmery or just make it soft. Um, Lush has almost anything you can imagine, and they have stuff for guys and for girls. So if you're getting this for a guy, maybe go for an orange bath bomb or a blue sea bath bomb as opposed to, um, you know, more of a rosy girly bomb. Um, but definitely tailor that to their needs, and they can use the candle while they're in the bathtub. Um, and the last part of this gift, because it is a little bit more romantic, is a very sexy um, perfume or cologne. This is just one by Givenchy. Um, you can definitely get whatever they want. Maybe there's a perfume that's been on her wish list. Maybe there's something that you know that she wants. Um, or if it's a guy, pick out a really masculine cologne like Blue by Chanel or um, Givenchy Play for men. Oh my god, that smells so good. I'm a woman, I even wear that one. Um, but this is just a really, really romantic way to say Happy Valentine's Day. It is a little bit more expensive, um, but if you are in a serious relationship and do want to spend that kind of money, um, it's definitely cute and personal and still romantic. Um, the last one is kind of for that makeup girl, um, probably for the you and I kind of person. It's great to give for a daughter, for even a mom, um, for a friend at school, you name it. And it's just this little set of <laughs> wonderful little makeup products. And again, what's great about this is that you tailor it to what they need. I personally chose a lipstick and a blush and a lash thing, um, a mascara, because I feel like those are kind of the romantic parts of the face, the blushes like, you know, cheeks and the lipstick and the eyes. Um, you could go all drugstore and spend 10 to $20, or you could go to Sephora and spend, you know, $40 on each thing. Um, but what I chose is the CoverGirl lipstick. This is one in Soulmate. It is really just a beautiful pink, um, and these are great lipsticks in general. I saw this from Physicians Formula. It was on sale, and this is called Happy Booster. And if you guys can see, it's like a Valentine's Day edition because it's a bronzer blush, but it's made up of little hearts. Isn't that cute? So I thought, those are just so festive. You know, pick out colors that are pink, red, or purple. Make it festive if they have like a heart kind of thing. Um, and the very last thing is from Sephora. Again, you could go drugstore or you could even get high end of these. But this is the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. Um, it's the lash extension system that everyone's really been talking about that just makes your lashes go whoosh. And Too Faced in general is a very girly, kind of sexier brand, um, in my opinion, than some of the other ones. I feel like Too Faced really puts a lot of sparkle in their products, really kind of gives it that um, kind of fun, flirty appeal. Too Faced is just flirty to me. 
Um, and I know that this is a really popular seller, so I thought that this would be perfect for that makeup girl or that girl that likes makeup. Or if you have guy friends who are interested in makeup, maybe even something like this for them, but with products they use. For instance, a foundation or you know, whatever your guy friends use, because I have some guy friends that are makeup artists, and I don't know if they'd use this for the lipstick per se, but you know, the mascara and the bronzer definitely. So those are kind of the inexpensive cute things for everyone in your life, but the very last thing I have is really exciting about that I heard from on the radio, and I don't want to show you like the address, but I have to show you guys how it came. It came like this, and it said berries.com, it said fragile. Um, I originally heard about this on the radio, and I was like, oh my god, no way. This is you know, if you really appreciate your parents, this is to give to a loved one. This is if you do want to spend a little bit more money, but really make a statement and you don't wanna just send flowers. Because I will be honest, flowers are beautiful and amazing and wonderful, but I would rather get chocolate strawberries in their own little refrigerator delivered to my door than flowers. Um, so this is definitely a step out of the box. Because I think that also people are kind of expecting flowers on Valentine's Day sometimes, because it's just such a common, nice thing to do. But chocolate strawberries, like what could be better? So I actually already ate one of these, but then I stopped myself and I was like, no, I need to film a Valentine's Day gift guide. Um, so I will show you exactly what this is. Literally, I heard about this on the radio. I was like, nah. -uh. Also, as you guys know, this is a pre-recorded video. I'm gonna be in New York for Valentine's Day, and I can't be there to actually give some of my friends and family members their gifts. So this is kind of the perfect idea. I had to try it out before I sent it to them, so that's my excuse. Um, but this is the perfect idea for them because now I can send it from New York and they can get it. But it comes like this, and it literally has its own mini freezer, so that way it doesn't like melt. Um, so as you guys can see, this is like some industrial freezer packaging. It comes with this little berries, the unforgettable gift. Mine is obviously melted by now, but this was like a block of ice to keep everything cool. It's still kind of cold, um, but they can reuse this and put it in their lunch box. And then once you open it up inside, we have the goodies. Um, so I will take this little box out and show you. You are getting your chocolate covered strawberries delivered in a freezer to your Valentine's door. Is that not so cool? Like the box just blew my mind alone. And then you get this and it says, um, it says sorry berries and it comes with a little bow. Um, and it does come with nutrition facts, which I don't recommend reading because they're probably really bad for you. One cookie. It's not a cookie. I'm sorry. Let me find the strawberry. One berry um, is 100 calories, so that's actually not as bad considering these are decadent and dipped in chocolate, but it says a delicious delivery, and they also do red envelopes and flowers and other things like that. Um, but it says, go ahead and take a bite. So now, let, and then it has a little to and from card for them, but look at this. Ah, this is so exciting. La, da, 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 da. And like I said, I already ate one. Um, but you literally can give your Valentine these amazing chocolate covered strawberries. So this is the one that I tried and I was like, oh my God, I have to film a video before I devour the rest of these. Um, this is kind of like a tuxedo. This is just like a chocolate sprinkle and this is kind of like a nut sprinkle. Um, but this is the absolute perfect romantic gift for your Valentine, especially when they're expecting like flowers or something so cliche because like I said, I walked into the store and I was like, Valentine's Day is so commercialized. This is the perfect way to say, I love you, you're my sweetheart, and here's something that I know that you'll enjoy that's just a little bit different. And the best part about these is that literally for all of these decadent strawberries and to get it delivered to your Valentine's or your door in like its own little box freezer, it's only $20. So I'm so excited now that I've taste tested them for approval, I know that I can get them for my friends and family and stuff. Um, but I think that out of all of them, this is one of the sweetest, literally sweetest, um, non-expensive and best way to say happy Valentine's Day. And again, this could be for a coworker, this could be for a parent, this could be for that romantic someone, or it could even be just for someone who's a really good friend. Um, but it's a way to show that you're thinking of them even if you can't be there for them and hand them to them personally. Um, so yeah, I was just really excited to show you guys these and explain this video. I'm gonna eat these now. Um, normally you guys know that I like to blab a lot, 
um, before I end the video because I like to talk to you, but I'm just gonna say goodbye so that I can eat these immediately. So yeah, um, I love you guys. I do hope that this helped you. Be sure to tell me what you guys are getting for your loved ones on Valentine's Day. And if you don't have a Valentine, then please be mine because we could eat chocolate strawberries together. Um, but I love you guys so much. I do hope that this helped and I can't wait to talk to y'all soon. Love you guys. Bye.